need one of those. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> 125 for you today. <laughs> so I gotta get out of here. Enjoy. Thanks, sir. Safe travels. How easy are they to program into like a. Uh, Say Yesu fusion stuff like that. I've only used them with DMR. I'll okay. be honest. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, there's all kinds of YouTube videos out there. They certainly think... can do it. Um, they can do P25. They can do all the modes now. So uh, I just never got into anything other than the DMR. But it's literally click. You know, yeah. Radio button enable this type. Enable this. Mm -hmm. Select your server you want to map to. So to set this up, you need like a desktop computer. You can or use your phone. Your phone, okay. Yeah. What, yeah. what uh, type of like? You just have to go to a URL and yeah. So what what will happen is obviously it's connected to my my phone now. It's yeah. To my phone. But when you turn it on, if it doesn't detect the Wi-Fi network it's configured for, sure. it'll put up its own uh, APK. Oh really? So it'll say Pi. And it says Pi Star or Pi Star Setup. Okay. And then you just put in the password, which is just Raspberry by default. Okay. Uh, you'll connect to it, and it'll open the browser right up, and then away you go. All right. And that's the same thing with each one of these. Yes, it's exactly the same. This is just on a Pi Zero, mm. so it's slower, right? Um, but it's a much nicer form factor. I like that because you have all your information. I've got it subscribed to, to um, Nationwide right now, 3100. Okay. So it's active. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Sure thing. Thank you. Yeah, it's tempting. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I really like that unit over there. That That's the whole repeater in a box. Man, if I found a whole repeater in a box, it's a good thing that I bought my my um my iPad Pro. No, no, no. The other day, because I would have picked that box up. <laughs> Classic Nintendo for 45 bucks. We're in a box. I'll be rushing over to, to hook up my radio to it to see what it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about upgrading to the uh, G9 or the GP9. The GP9? For the UHF VHF? Yeah. But you don't have any problems getting out on UHF VHF, right? Like, I'm pretty good on what I have there. I would just like it for the extra gain, but... Yeah. Because sometimes people are like, I can't hear you. So maybe if I've got that with the extra gain, it'll give me that little bit of edge, but... The best thing is if you can hear what you can... Same, same people that can hear you, you can hear them. Yeah. How much, you said? All right, there should be a label on it. About 52. Okay. Did you go 50 feet? Yeah. I'm gonna end up doing like 20, 25. I might even just do 15. What's that? I might even just go for 15 feet. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I don't know. Is there is a big loss between 15 feet and 25 feet on the Ultraflex? Not, not much loss. No, I mean, I can't. I, there's no good way to answer that because I'm just based on the chart, and that chart's always on 100 feet. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not going to notice the difference between 15 and 20 feet. Right. 15 and 25, and 25 feet. You're not going to notice a difference. Okay? You're really not. I mean, you might, you'd have to have some hell racious testing here to, to tell the difference <laughs> yeah. between 15 feet and 20 feet in coax, yeah. coax loss. Okay? So you, huh? And I don't have that kind of money to, to spend on that kind of testing equipment. I, mean, I, use, I use 240 for, for some of my HF setups, okay? I do Parks on the Air. You see the Parks on the Air's logo. I do Parks on the Air, and this is exactly what I use for my Parks on the Air when I set up, you know, in, in the remote sites all over the place, yeah, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you ever heard of Parks on the Air? Of course. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, last year, year before last, even fighting cancer, I was the number three activator yeah, each of those two oh, years. Wow. Honest to God, yeah. each of those two years, I was the number three activator. This year, I'm about number five or six because my truck started giving me problems. I had to get a new truck, so that took a month out of activation and everything else. <laughs> Linear amplifier. Two meter power amplifier. 
Oh man, uh, that's I, if if Tim doesn't have one of these, he'll pick one of those up. He I think has he's one. got one, right? Because he, he, he's like, here, you want to use it? So, what is it, two meter? Yeah. He's over there. Forty bucks. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, he's way over there. Well, how much power does it actually push? I don't even know. Um, it puts out. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know the percentage of what it puts out. Yeah, I'm curious, like if it's like 100 watts or 30 watts, you know? Mm-hmm. It'll be kind of cool for putting out some real high power, right? Have a HT or something at the car. <laughs> that is true. Excuse me, sir. Hey, Jim. How much is this putting out? Yeah, it powers up good. We don't really know if it works. Okay. Because it was from an estate. We don't have any way of testing it. Gotcha. Yeah. I just wonder what it what it actually puts out. Like, what's the uh, push pull on it? Uh, where the hell they, I, I read about it someplace. It's supposed to be 80 watts out. Okay, 5 in, 80 11, out. 11 Sorry, watts in, 80 out, something like that.